Hello everybody and thanks for popping by the channel. I hope everybody's doing well today. Uh, I want to ask a question and that is how important is audio in the video? Um, I happen to think that audio is actually kind of almost if not more than important than video is the quality wise. Um, if you've got a video that's not quite stellar as far as the video is concerned quality wise and you've got some really good audio uh, your viewers are probably more likely to hang in there with you to the end than as if it were switched uh, if the video was really good and the audio was kind of bad um, they may lose patience with that and I have one of those voices that uh, microphones have a tough time picking up um, you know, I used to sing in the choir in church and they would always have to max my microphone out to even to where people could barely hear me <clears throat> you know and I've always had that problem with an underpowered voice and it, and it being low anyways so and I've had a couple of uh, different microphones of course being on a budget um, the microphone I was using was this uh, Ceremonic VMAC Mini it's a pretty good microphone, but I, it just didn't complement my voice very well. And uh, I had a friend of mine who had been watching some of my videos, and he said, um, I'm going to send you something. I didn't exactly know what it was until I got it. Um, and it happens to be a uh, Deity V mic, which is a video mic, D3 Pro. Now we're going to talk about this microphone in a minute and I'm going to uh, come down from the top view and unbox it and I'll talk about it what time I'm unboxing it and uh, we'll see how well you guys think it does with my voice. I'm recording on it right now so if you think it sounds good let me know uh, in the comments down below. Um, and I have tested a little bit and I, I, I think I'm on to something with my voice here with this microphone. So let's get at it, why don't we? All right, now we're going to uh, find out what's inside this box. As we get open, we're gonna find our instructions and warranty information. And like a true man, I'm just gonna to toss it off to the side. And then we're gonna open up the package and find out what else is in there and we'll see a blister pack with their microphone, uh, shock mount, and TRRS cable. Now the uh, TRRS cable is yellow and black in true deity form. And then there's our microphone that is already uh, attached to the uh, shock mount. The shock mount is fully adjustable that you, know, you can, once it's mounted to your uh, device whether it's a camera or whatever you'll be able to slide that forward or back depending on your needs uh, if you need more room for it to uh, look through a viewfinder you can push the microphone forward or backwards either which way uh, if the microphone sticks out too far into the frame now there's the uh, the capsule portion of the microphone under the foam there you have a USB-C port and the three and a half millimeter output jack and on top is your power button and switch for your high pass filter and on the back is your gain uh, control which is uh, completely stepless now on the bottom of that shock mount you'll find that you can actually attach that to a quarter 20 uh, mount or there is an adapter in there that you can take that out and it mount on a 3 8 mount as well Now here in a moment, I'm going to show you, uh, turn it on the microphone, you just push and hold. And then you can cycle through the 75 hertz and the 150 hertz high pass filter. And then you can press and hold to turn the microphone back off. It also does standby if it doesn't sense anything requesting record, then it puts itself in the standby. Now I'm going to show you a couple of adapters um, that will work with various um, devices 
these are Apple uh, uh, adapters, but they don't have to be Apple products that you use them with more than the work. That was a three and a half millimeter to Lightning, and there's a three and a half millimeter to USB-C. That's very convenient that you have uh, three and a half millimeter to USB-C. And there we have it. The Deity Microphones V-Mic D3 Pro Universal Shotgun Microphone. Now I'm going to go ahead and read the features uh, of this microphone straight off of the box. Uh, just so you'll know what kind of features this thing has. Uh, and I've talked a little bit about it during the unboxing. Uh, some of these features. Uh, I'm going to be honest. You know, I'm not an audiophile professional. I don't know microphones all that well. But I know enough to, where I'm, one, and I hear good audio. I know it when I hear it. And that's what I look for. And I do think this microphone complements my voice to where it sounds uh, quite decent. So here's the features for this microphone. A super cardioid polar pattern. Low noise circuitry designed with noise level at 15 dBA. High quality SNR, a maximum of 84 dB at 24 dB sensitivity. Durable, rugged metal construction design. And I agree with that. I do believe that it's, uh, it feels quite well constructed. Uh, super lightweight running gun ready. 143 grams is what it weighs. So it is pretty light. Uh, it has an internal rechargeable lithium battery and supplies over 50 hours of operation. Now I don't know whether that's accurate or not. I have not had it long enough to know. Uh, out of the box compatibility with cameras, recorders, smartphones, laptops, and tablets. Now I have tried this microphone. <coughs> You know, I've, uh, I'm using my iPhone 12 Pro Max right now and with this microphone and it works. Uh, I also have a DJI Action 2 and that works as well. Um, now the Action 2 does require an adapter and this is from Apple. It is the USB-C on one end and then the three and a half millimeter on the other end. Now, you'll need that for other applications as well. Like if you have an iPad with the uh, Thunderbolt port, you'll need this if you want to record audio with a microphone. Um, with the iPhones, um, I can't remember which model started without the headphone jack, but with that one, you'll have to have the, uh, the same thing, but with the lightning connector on this end. They make both of these. I think they're like, at the time right now, about $10 a piece, uh, depending on which one, you, uh, you know, which one you need. You may not need both of them. If you need both of them, I mean, it's just 20 bucks. And you'll be able to record on both. Um, now, MacBooks, um, <clears throat> I have a MacBook, M1 MacBook Air. It has a headphone port on it, and I just plug the microphone straight into it, and it picks it right up. No problems there. Um, I have an older action camera uh, from DJI, the original Osmo Action. It does work with it, um, but you have to have the Sunova adapter. There's an audio adapter for that camera that uh, takes the uh, USB-C port and gives you a three and a half millimeter port as well as a charge port, uh, both of them at the same time. So for that, you'd need that adapter. There are some cases where um, you know the microphone comes with a TRRS to TRRS cable and it's supposed to be smart enough to figure out what uh, de the device that you're connecting to needs and if it needs to be TRS it's supposed to be able to switch to that now it does for the most part there are some that it does not um, I was trying to plug into something earlier today, but I can't remember what it was. And that was the thing with this ceremonic mic is um, it uses a TRS to plug into the microphone. And then depending on what you're plugging into, if you're plugging into a DS DLSR camera, on the other end, you'll need a TRS as well. But certain things like uh, iPhones, you have to have a TRRS on the other end. So, what I did was is I took this cable that came with the ceremonic mic and plugged the TRRS 
into the D3 Pro and then plug the TRS into the device and it worked. So, you know, it, uh, it does a really good job of trying to figure out which one is TRS and TRRS on its own, but sometimes it needs a little help. And uh, with sometimes, you know, I can't guarantee with every device that you can get it to work with an adapter, but it's worth a shot, you know. If you have other devices that can use this uh, microphone, I think it does a really fine job. I think it sounds great. Um, and like I said in, in the intro, let me know in the comments uh, what you think of it, how it sounds. I've recorded this entire video with this microphone. Um, you know, it, it would be easy to come up with some sort of test. If you want to see a test done with this microphone, let me know. Uh, it'd be easy enough to come up with a test to see how well it rejects sound from the sides and from behind. Uh, things like that um, and, you know if you come up with a test and if I can do it I'll I will make a video of it and get it out there for you uh, but there are a few already out there so I just wanted to touch on it and let you know my thoughts on it and get your thoughts on it as well as in the comments that's what I have for you today I hope you all have a great one